Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video, my name is Floppy and today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make an E to open a GUI. Just before the video begins, I'd just like to say 92.2% of you guys are not subscribed. If you want to see more Roblox Studio videos like these, make sure to consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell so you can be the first one to be notified every single time I upload a new video. So for starters, you're going to want to make sure Explore and Properties are enabled. If Explore and Properties are not enabled, you want to head up to the top bar here Click on view and enable explore and properties once you've enabled explore and properties you now want to go and make your part which is going to be holding the proximity prompt what a proximity prompt is it basically when a player is in a range of this part a e button will show and when they click that e button something will happen for, in, for this tutorial we're going to be opening a gui whenever someone touches that e button so we want to go over to your part and you want to rename this to whatever you want something that you may remember so for this tutorial, I'm just going to be calling this block, just like that. You can also leave it as part, but it's better if you do change the name. Once you've renamed your part, you then want to click on the plus button and insert a proximity prompt. Now you can adjust this as much as you want. It doesn't really matter. You can change the max activation distance, basically meaning how far a player can be away to be able to see the E button. For this tutorial, all I'm going to be changing is the hold duration to one. But other than that, I'm not going to be adjusting anything else. And then what we're going to want to do, we now want to go and make our UI, which we are going to be opening. So we want to head over to our started UI. And now you want to insert a screen UI. And then inside the screen UI, you want to insert a frame. I'm just going to be inserting a frame for this tutorial, just because I don't really need to show you on how to do everything else, because it doesn't matter what is in the frame. As long as you've got a frame, it, it'll work. So now that you've inserted a frame inside the screen UI, now you want to go over here and click on here and now we're going to be making a close button for this tutorial i'm just going to be using a text button because it doesn't really matter but you can use an image button it's up to you basically this will be now a close button so if someone clicks e this frame will pop up with the x button and someone click can click the x button and then the gui will disappear so what we're going to want to do i'm going to just go and customize this to however i like for this tutorial i'm just going to change the font and I'm going to change the text to close just like that so people can understand okay this is where I can close this UI and feel free to have whatever you want in this UI it doesn't really matter but once you've done that you now want to go over to your screen GUI and we want to close the frame here inside your screen GUI you want to go and insert a local script now inside this local script you want to go down to the description of this video copy and paste the first part of code that is in the description it's going to probably be called something like starter GUI local script first script something like that you want to go down there copy the code and then bring that back to roblox studio remove all the previous code and then paste in the new code so once you've inserted the code into the local script we now want to go and adjust a couple things in here so we want to start off on line one where it says game.workspace.yourpartname we want to change your part name to whatever the proximity prompt is in so if as you guys remember we renamed our part to block which has the proximity prompt in and keep in mind whatever your block is called which has the proximity prompt is prompt in is what you want to change your part name to so for mine because my uh, the proximity prompt is inside the block i want to rename this to block so it should look something like that and obviously depending on what your block name is it will depend on what goes there so now that you've changed your part name to whatever your block name is or whatever your part name is we now want to go over to line two and depending on whatever your frame name is called, so the frame that is inside of the screen GUI, which we made earlier, which is holding the, the close button or, and all that, you want to, whatever you named your frame, you want to paste that here. But now I haven't renamed my frame, so I'm all fine. I don't have to adjust anything, but only if your frame is named something else, then you have to change it over here. So once you've finished adjusting everything, you want to click on the X button up here. And then you want to go over to your frame again and you want to find your text button which is going to be our close button and you want to click on the plus button next to our text button and you want to insert a local script now you want to go down to the description of the video again copy and paste the code that's in the description that is going to be the second part of the code probably called something like close button script you want to remove all the previous code back in here and paste in the close button script so you don't actually really need to adjust much in this closed script. I'll give you a quick run through on what this actually does though. But if the script.parent, if the text button or our close button uh, detects a mouse button click, it'll then make the script, the close button script dot the parent 
dot the parent and it sets the vis visibility to false basically closing our frame ui so as you guys remember this is our close button ui so that is what that part does and also in our other script over here what happens here a proximity prompt so our local proximity prompt is game.workspace.proximity prompt so if our proximity prompt is triggered then it sets the gui which our gui is script.parent.frame and then it sets the visibility to true so if a proximity prompt is triggered then our gui is set to true so once you've finished adjusting everything you want to head up to the top here and click on the x button to close the script then you want to head over to your explorer and find your frame and you want to set the visibility to a disabled or just basically unticket so that no UI is showing on your screen. So now that you've set your frame visibility to disabled or unticked, you now want to make sure that your part is anchored. And then you want to head up to the top bar here and click on play to go test it out. As you guys can see, we are now in the base plate. And what we will do now, we'll go and hold E. And But remember, we do have a one second holding duration. So we need to hold it for one second. And then as you guys can see, our UI now pops up. And if we click on the close button up here that we made just before, the UI will close and we can also open it up again. Click on close, open it up again and click on close. If you guys wanted to support me to the extra mile, super thanks and being a member on my channel is an option. Super thanks is located just below the video and to become a member, you can click the join button next to the subscribe button located below the video. If you guys are a little bit lost or you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to send me a message on Discord and I'll happily help you out. But anyway guys, I'm gonna wrap up the video here. If you did enjoy, I'd appreciate if you do consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell, and also do consider liking the video, I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.